Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Singing, oh, how I love Jesus. Saying, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Amen. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Amen. That's why we love him because he first loved loved us. All right, all right, all right. Another week, another Wednesday. The Lord has blessed us to see, and this is the last Wednesday in this month, because Tuesday coming up after this weekend is the first of February. The month of love, they tell me. Mm, month of love. Yeah, anybody in love? Yeah, yeah, we in love. We in love, right? I'm in love right now. Yeah, I'm in love. Month of love coming up. Uh, Valentine Day uh, uh, will be in that month. And so uh, this is the last um, uh, Wednesday, the last Bible study for the month of January. Thank you so much. Those of you who have tuned in and Cobb Bethel AME Church and any friends that have tuned in and are going to listen to uh, this particular Bible study session, I want you to turn to uh, Luke. St. Luke, the fourth chapter. St. Luke, the fourth chapter. St. Luke, the fourth chapter. All right. St. Luke, the fourth chapter. Talking about temptation. Jesus Christ, of course, was tempted. We're going to do the first part of that where Jesus Christ was tempted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was tempted. Y'all know he was tempted, right? This is very familiar. It's also in Matthew. Uh, it's also in Matthew. Uh, uh, where Jesus was tempted, there's, there's also an account uh, of Jesus' temptation uh, in uh, Matthew. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, it's the fourth chapter of Matthew as well. Uh, fourth chapter of Matthew as well. Um, all right. Now, we're <clears throat> um, going to begin uh, our Bible study with a prayer as well as always. If you want to read the Bible, read it, read it, read it. You always need to read your Bible so that you know what it says. Mm -hmm. And then if you're listening to Bible study, you follow along. If you listen to a sermon, you read as the same part that the preacher is reading. Always read your Bible so that you know what the Bible says. All right. You know what the Bible says. I feel like God, we come before the throne of grace. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this another day you've allowed us to see. And thank you. Oh, God, for the, our ability to sing Zion songs, our ability to read your word, our ability, oh, Heavenly Father, to go out into the hedges and highways and to do thy will, oh, Heavenly Father, fulfill thy will and go uh, 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 to the church on Sunday mornings and Wednesdays and whatever days and serve our communities and the various things that we do, though uh, uh, somewhat hampered at this present time, God, by the coronavirus, but Lord, we still look to you for leadership and guidance. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For your son, Jesus Christ, most of all, who made all of this now present uh, possible. We thank you for salvation and the right to the tree of life through our faith in him. And we ask, for oh God, that that would help us, oh Heavenly Father, to rightly divide the word, the truth, oh Heavenly Father, that we can get the understanding that thou would have us to get, to wrestle with the scriptures, and then be able to apply it to our lives and go out to everyone we come in contact with, proclaiming the good news of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The liberating gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. And so we have it. We have it. We have it. The fourth chapter of Luke. Mm -hmm. It's also in the fourth chapter of Matthew. Fourth chapter of Luke. Very first verse. Temptation. We want to say something about temptation today. All right. And Jesus, the very first verse, fourth chapter, and Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan. Mm -hmm. Returned from Jordan. All right. Jordan is one of the 
Joanne was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Mm. Now, first of all, if you look at the fourth chapter of Matthew and the very first verse, it says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Now, that gives us away why he was led up. Why he was led. Now, he was in the Spirit. Jesus was in the Spirit. Spirit, he was full of the Spirit and the Spirit in him. And, of course, he's a member of the triune God. He's led into the wilderness to be tempted. Mm. Led to be tempted. That's why he's in the wilderness. He ain't walking through the wilderness for nothing. Jesus didn't go nowhere. I keep telling you, Jesus went nowhere by chance. He's in the wilderness, not in the mountain. But who was in the mountain? Moses, right? Moses was led up into the mountain. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Moses was led up into the mountain. Very first verse. Jesus is led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Right? Led by the Spirit into the wilderness. In the second verse, being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Moses was in the mountain Oh, what mountain, what mountain, what mountain? My goodness. Sinai, I believe it was. For, for, for Saint, 40 days. At 40, that rings a bell, doesn't it? What a, what a number. What a number. Rain 40 days and 40 nights. Mm, Spout out the land for 40 days. Stayed in the wilderness for 40 years. Boy, that 40 is, a, is one of them numbers, ain't it? Mm, like 12 and 7. Yeah, it's one of them numbers. Pay attention to that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, and, and did you hear the Bible? It has some significance. Forty days. One of the numbers of completeness that that, that one of the numbers of completeness that God uh, uh, uses throughout His Word. Forty days. Something happens for forty days. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To complete whatever it is that's going on, God allows it to be for forty days. In this case, He goes into the wilderness for 40 days. He doesn't just wander off and decides to walk away. The Spirit leads him to the wilderness. There's a purpose, a reason why he goes into the wilderness. In Matthew, the very first verse of fourth chapter, it tells you right off the bat to be tempted of the devil. Here, it goes into the second verse before it tells you that. He's being tempted, being 40 days tempted of the devil. So he's tempted for the whole time he's up there. A lot of people think he waited, they waited until 40 days. After 40 days, they figure, is when he came uh, to be contempted. Mm. Because in the second verse of Matthew, it says, And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he afterward hungered. So you, they figure out, it didn't say after 40 days he was tempted, it said he hungered. Then it says, and the tempter came. Well, the tempter was around him the whole time. Because in the second verse, being 40 days tempted of the devil. The tempter was already around him all that time. And by the time 40 days pass, you know, he's hungry, he strikes. I mean, this time he strikes and he strikes with a vengeance. Now, he's, 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 he's fully armored when he comes now after these 40 days are over. He is fully armored. In those days, he did eat nothing. Second verse, St. Luke 4, chapter, second verse. He did eat nothing. And, and uh, when... They were ended, the days, 40 days were ended. He afterward hungered. Just like Moses was with the Lord and 40 days hungered with the Lord to receive the commandments. Oh, am I right? Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual thing now. It was a physical thing. He just received, he didn't receive the spiritual. He received the written word of the commandments. He received the commandments. Moses did. See, that's some comparison in Moses and Jesus. Hey, you always you need to study from the Old Testament to the New Testament. There's comparison of people. And Jesus and Moses is one of those comparisons. Com 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 compar com comparisons you can make. Comparisons you can't make. Jesus is better than Moses, though. Oh, wow. We, we talked about that, too. Jesus is better than Moses. 
And he brings a lot more than Moses could. Mm. Moses brings physical. Jesus brings the spiritual. Mm. Mm. My Lord, Moses is limited. Jesus is not limited. Mm. My, my, my. Moses just leads you through it. Jesus offers salvation more than just lead salvation. But uh, in the second verse, being 40 days tempted of the devil, in those days he did eat nothing. When they were ended, he afterward hungered. In the third verse, and the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it might be made bread. Now, what does that tell us? <laughs> What, what, what does that tell us? You remember when they when they when they when they were following and they were looking for Jesus and they lost him for a minute. He crossed over to meet his disciples on the other side of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, uh, river. Uh, can't remember exactly what river, but on the other side of the water, he crossed on the other side and they lost track of him and they, they finally found him. And Lord, Lord, we, we, where'd you go? We, we, he said, "You seek me for for the miracles. You 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 you're looking for something to eat. You're looking for something physical." Same thing, type, type of thing. Uh, 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 the devil is thinking physical. Command these stones. Make them stone so that you can eat. You hungry so that you can eat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bread. 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 Just like when the Israelites was in there and Moses come off that mountain. And he led them in, in that final 40 years. They hungered and wanted something to eat. They wanted bread. The devil now tempts him with bread. You're supposed to be the son of God. Change this to bread because you're hungry. They're hungry in the, in the land. Uh, 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 40 days and 40, uh, 40 years, they run around hungry. They get hungry. They get irritated with Moses. And here the devil sees Jesus hungry. You need some bread, Jesus. Uh, command these. If you who you say you are, command. But Jesus then says, it is written, fourth verse, fourth chapter of St. Luke, fourth verse. It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. Lord, have mercy. I, I, but, but by, but by every, bread alone, but by every word of God. Mm. By every word of God. In Matthew, right at the preceding part from in Matthew, because it says man shall not live by bread alone, Matthew 4 and 4. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mmm, my, my, my. You know, bread is enough for a lot of us. And that's all we want. We want we want to be supplied with our physical food. And that's all we seek. And we think that if God supplies with that, we can serve him. We can serve him. We can do what we're supposed to do. We can live like we ought to live. We just get some bread. Get some bread. That's all we need. And uh, bread is not enough. There is a life that Jesus speaks, that, 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 that he speaks. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, there's life that we need to attain and learn. There's the word of God far more than the physical uh, bread and the physical food that we can eat. There's a spiritual thing here that we've got to, to, to eat as well. Back in back in back in the Old Testament, Moses' time, uh, in Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter and the third verse, Deuteronomy eight chapter and the third verse. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. This is Moses talking to the people, and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy fathers know. He might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. So in other words, don't think that that's what we need, just the bread. We just need uh, physical for our bodies and we'll be all right. No, 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 no. It's much more than that. <laughs> by the word of God is what we have to live by. Not by bread alone, but we got to live by God's law, by God's word, by everything that proceeds out of his mouth. Everything is for us to learn and live by. Manna was something they ain't never heard of. It wasn't even bread. It didn't like bread. What is this? 
He spoke it, fell from heaven, and they lived. <laughs> By manna. Mm. Some kind of substance. Well, you know what it was. Something not known to man, God allowed them to live by. That means that that despite the fact how much bread or no bread, you, I, 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 I can speak for you to live. And everything that comes out of the mouth of God, his entire word of God, existence is for us to live. And that's how we ought to live. Mm -hmm. the physical thing. No, no, everything that comes out of the mouth of God, everything, everything that comes out of the mouth of God, the word of God, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. In the fifth verse, and the devil, taking him up to a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, does it quickly. You know, in a certain moment, I don't know how quick the moment they mean very quick, but in a moment of time, he shows him, right? And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of him, for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will, uh, whomsoever I will, I give it. Hmm. To whomever I will, I give it. <clears throat> First of all, here we go. Here we, here we are. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The fifth and sixth verse. The devil is the prince of this world. Okay, whenever you see anybody, he's the prince of this world. He has a lot in his kingdom. You see what I'm saying? All this worldly stuff. Hmm? He ain't created nothing. God created everything. And anything that was created, uh, made after that was made out of something God already created. Man just putting all things together and made it. The devil, he, he didn't have nothing, didn't make nothing. He didn't create anything. So he's the prince of this world. That means all the worldly things. Uh huh. He's the prince of this world. And he can offer it, offer you all of these kinds of things, just like he was offering some, the son of man here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I get you from God? Actually, he's saying, can you get him from the Trinity? Can I get you from... Uh, no way. The audacity of the devil to ask the son of man, God's son, that kind of question. You will bow down and serve me in that fourth and uh, in that in that in that in that uh uh in that fifth and sixth verse. Hmm. And the devil says to him, All power in the sixth verse, I I will give thee in glory and deliver unto thee, and to whom I soever I hmm. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Fifth, sixth, and seventh verse. Look at all this I have. He's the prince of this world. You know what John said about the prince of this world? And it fits this. In John, the 12th chapter and 31st verse, it says, Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what Jesus is about to do. And here the prince of this world huh, is getting the notion now, it's being told to him now, it's the beginning of the end of the prince of this world. While he's tempting Jesus, the son of man, Jesus is preparing now and has come to end the time of the prince of this world. It's the beginning of the end, the beginning of his casting out. While he's talking to him in this fifth, sixth, and seventh verse, he really don't realize that this, it's, this is the beginning of the end of you. <laughs> oh, man. But first, before I be, uh, before we're able to cast you out from people, cast you away from people, I've got to first come in and take uh, 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 take my place. Mm -hmm. i got to first come in uh, 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 and take my place. Mm, my, my, my. First come in and take my place. My goodness. So, 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 so we have this temptation that he's, 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 give, boy, he, he's got some kind of nerve, this temptation that he has. Mm -hmm. And he's tempting him. And you, so, so you already know what you're going to face in this world. The devil has plenty. He's the prince of this world. 
and uh, uh, the prince gets, uh, you know, uh, just, just does what he wants to do. You know, wheels how he wants. You know how a prince is. We, that's what the devil does. Wheels how he wants. I can give it to whoever I want. Mm -hmm. I just, I just go to and fro, and I'm just wandering, and I just hold position. So that prince, prince of this world. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you want it? Hmm. My, my, my. Oh, Lord. So he's going to cast him out first. He's first got to get in there and cast him out. As it says, in, uh, 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 just like it says, uh, just like, just like it says, uh, just like Matthew says in the 12th chapter, the 29th verse, uh, 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 like uh, casting out the strong man first before you can really come in and do any damage in his house. So he, he's going to really cast out the devil first. This is the beginning of the end of you. Satan, in this fifth, sixth, and seventh verse, is the beginning of the end of you. Satan doesn't know it. The devil said unto him in the sixth verse, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. All this stuff. And that's what he offers us. All this power and glory and prestige and everything that the world has to offer. Mm -hmm. If we'll just if we'll just be the devils, children of the devil. All of us are children of God. Some of us are children of the devil. I know we like to say it. And I say it all the time. And I know I, you hear me say it. All of us aren't children of God. We're God's creation. But all of us ain't children of God. Some of us are children of the devil. Yes, yes, yes. Let, 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 let me move on. Okay, okay. I, if thou therefore will worship me. Mm -hmm. Temptation. That's on us. He was tempted. Don't think you're not going to be. And after you have been in there... Uh, 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 he, he, he was hungry and so therefore since he is hungry I got my land yeah, my last book's crawling on the screen <sighs> all right all right got to get this book crawling around the screen oh, mercy uh, uh, he's tempted all this time uh, or he's hungered all this time. so he's hungry now the devil, the devil really feels like he can move in now, just like he would do you. If you were hungry physically, he would move in. Huh? If you hungered for, for a husband or a wife, he would move in. Well, tempt you. Hmm. If you're seeking for anything and hungered for anything, that's when he moves in the most. He's always tempting you. Just like he tempted him before. But he's really gonna move in. The, the, the longer you 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 go. Oh my goodness, and you really seeking? That's when the devil pounces. He pounces here, challenges Christ. Then in the fifth, sixth, and seventh verse, if you just serve me, I got all it. And that's when he's going to tell us, if you just serve me, I got all this guy. I got you. Looking, you looking for a boyfriend? There's, there, you know, there, there's one over there. Mm, he's a slickster. You don't need him. You know what I'm saying? He's got all kind of stuff, but how did he get it? I'm drug dealers, some all kind of men, and all kind of things that people are doing. They don't really love you. Lead you astray. All things ain't good for us that we see. That's just one example I'm using. When you hunger for, as he hungered, that's when the devil is at his best. Hmm. You're looking for something? You're seeking it? You're hungering for it? Temptation. To do something, to go the wrong Temptation, temptation, temptation. I need some more money. I'm hungry for some money, some money. Oh, the temptation. Friendship. Oh, there's the temptation. Mm. So Jesus responds to him in the eighth verse. Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt not worship the Lord thy God. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and in him only shall thou worship serve. And he just, you know, back in Deuteronomy, you know, it told us that's a, that's a Ten Commandments. That's one of the Ten Commandments right there. I said, the Lord thy God and all that heart, all that soul. Hmm. 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 He's a jealous God. Look back at De in Deuteronomy 6 and 13. You find, you know, y'all you, know it already. You don't even have to look back there. You know what the Ten Commandments say. Yeah, so I mean, we are, we, we already knew Deuteronomy six and thirteen says, 
Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shalt swear by his name in, 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 in 6 and 13. You may not know that, that one exactly, but it's from the Ten Commandments. And, 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 and that's what, so we're supposed to be serving God and him only. And that's what he tells the devil. Hmm. Hmm. My goodness. So, he's led to temptation. He's led to it. Why is Jesus led to temptation? Why would the Spirit do that? Why don't I let him be tempted? Well, certainly to show you, it'll show you what 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 what, what the devil would be offering you, and it shows the devil also uh, uh, what he can't have. Yeah, yeah, I submit to you, it shows him what he can't have, what he can, and 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 uh, <laughs> shows you who the Son of God is, gives you the example. So he's, that's why he's led. He's led to the, the tempter. He's led to the tempter. He's led to the tempter. Now, you ain't going to be led out somewhere in the spirit so that you can be tempted by. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't try. This is for Jesus' purpose, Jesus to do. Not for you. You ain't going to be led out somewhere. No, 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 no. Don't tell nobody you was led out. You ain't led out to be. No, you lead yourself out there. But the spirit ain't led you out to be tempted. No, 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 no. So, in the eighth verses, get behind me, say, Our the Lord, our God, it's just him. Hmm. Love the Lord with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy That's who. So, in the ninth verse, and he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from thence. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee. You know, in Psalms 91, 11, you know, he knows the scripture. You know, did y'all know the devil knows, knows the scripture? He just don't want you to know it. <laughs> oh, uh, he don't mind you going to church if he don't want you to know the scripture. Because he figured he can reverise people in the church too. And he wants to spread his, his wings in the church. So he don't mind you going to the church. He just don't want you reading and taking in the word of God. Right now, he don't want you to know no, 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 no. You don't want that now, don't you? Don't you get serious on that devil? <laughs> and you know the word of God. He don't want you to go. See, can you mess up somebody else? He don't want you knowing. He don't want you in that word now. You're really knowing something. Being led by the proper man or woman of God, uh, being led by a, a, a prophet or a preacher or whatever God, he don't want that. I don't want you to be able to write and divide. No, 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 no. He knows the scripture, though. He knows it. He knows it. He says, he tells him what, what, what the angels will do. The angels are going to come and minister to you, Jesus. You can jump off. You can say, jump off. In that ninth and tenth verse. Yeah. In your hands, they shall bear thee up in the twelfth verse. I mean, eleventh verse. Lest at any time thy foot dash against a stone. So, what temptation that is, huh? We're, we're being tempted about that, like, like that now. That same type of temptation, we got that right now, that 10th, 11th, and 12th, or, or, or rather that 9th, 10th, and 11th verse, we got that same temptation right now. You know, ain't just going to watch over you. The word of God says, yeah, you truly a child of God. You who you say you are. Go on out there without your mask to the party. Huh? Don't worry about how many people there crowding around, breathing on one another. Don't worry about that. There's the bug. He's flying around. Did I get him finally? You know, he, right, right, right when you're ready to get him, that's when they fly. Those videos, look, they're so little, you barely can see them. I don't even know if I got him there. All right. But, 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 he just kind of flew in the picture just then. I may find him somewhere. I don't know if I got him. But that's what you, that's what you have. Uh, so, if you are a child of God and you be te you're tempted because the angels are going to take charge of you anyhow, they're always sent to minister to you anyhow. You know what I'm saying? And if you stumble over something by mistake, I mean, you, you'll be all right. Go on. Step out there in front of the bus. Go on down. Uh, 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 Slater Avenue when the spirit didn't tell you to go down Slater Avenue where the shooting and fussing and killing is going on and they're doing this kind of stuff because you're a child of God they certainly wouldn't bother you shoot you or whatever 
Yeah, go on down there. Spirit ain't told you to go there, but go on down there. The devil is telling you to go. Tempting the Lord thy God. What does Jesus say about that in that 12 verse? And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. <laughs> Uh, so, so, so the devil is tempting him to tempt the Lord. The devil is tempting us to tempt the Lord. He's doing it right now. With this pandemic, he's doing it right now. And as I said to my congregation, when somebody wants to say, well, the Lord, the Lord, what about all this? Y'all say y'all the Lord, y'all Christians and y'all the child of God. Why y'all can't do it? And that's the reason why we ain't showing up. That's the reason why we ain't going because we are children of God. We ain't tempting it. That's why we ain't going to be there. So when you're having all this stuff going on and we know it's unsaved, huh? we don't tempt the Lord thy God because hmm, thou shalt not tempt him. It's not the way he works. So that's why we ain't coming. <laughs> what about all that? Well, if you go to church, yes, because I go to that's why I ain't coming. Praise the Lord. I told my car, that's the truth. That's why I ain't. Jump off, Jesus. Now, he could have. He could have, he's the third, he's the third, he's the third, he, he's the second member of the Trinity. He's got, he's really God in the flesh himself. He could jump off. He could have done anything that the devil told him to do. He could have changed them into the, the bread. He could have done that. Huh? Take all the possessions and the, the, the devil, and he, he, could, he could, he could, he could jump off. I don't know why I'm doing. But the example to us is not to live by bread alone. We ain't worried about changing into it because we live by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Don't accept what the devil has to offer you. Uh huh. Damnation to your soul. And don't tempt Lord thy God by jumping off something that you know you shouldn't jump off of, that you know it ain't humanly possible to survive, that you know is a temptation. Just because you supposed to be a child of God. Okay. Okay. That's the reason why I won't be there. That's the reason why I look both ways when I cross the street. That's the reason why I don't want to be bothered with all these, all this hellier stuff you do. And I may show up at the, pic at, the, at the picnic or the party, but I may have to leave early. When y'all start acting the fool, I don't want to be around. I don't want to be bothered with you. A lot of stuff that go on, we don't want to be bothered. I, I, I'm just not, that's, that's, not for, that's not for me. That's not for us to be in. Huh? What danger is that we know? Hmm. My, my, my. Praise the Lord. I know y'all can't talk back to me. My, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I'm just putting a few things out there. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. What does that mean? <laughs> Do you think the devil will leave you alone? It said for a season. You think he would? You got another thing coming. The devil ain't gonna never leave. He'll leave people alone who he got already, because he already know they're gonna do what he want them to do. But he, he's always gonna try to put something in stumbling block in your way, whether it be people, whether it people be of your family, at your congregation, not people of the church. People of the church and in the church now, which is the body of Christ, ain't gonna put no stumbling blocks in your way. Let's clear this. Let's get this clear. The congregation, there are people in the congregation that may do that. But not in the church. The congregation and the church are two different groups. Your congregation is composed of people who are in the church and who are out of the church. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And they'll do that. Because the devil is doing what the devil tells them to do. They did up on So, you know, for a season, you know, you had this, for a season, you had that. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Hmm. Oh my goodness! I I I, I better leave y'all alone for another week and let y'all uh, uh marry over that. Oh my goodness! Temptation. Hmm. Why is it? Hmm. If we're tempted, Jesus was tempted. So you know you're going to be. You know you're going to be. You you know you know, you know you're going to be. The devil is is ever busy, ever on his job. So is my Lord ever on his job. Mm -hmm. The spirit is ever working to keep you out of temptation, to keep you from yielding to temptation. 
the Spirit of God will keep us from yielding to temptation. You do not have to yield. Don't listen to nobody tell you that sometime you do. So you don't have to yield to temptation, Lord. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <clears throat> yeah. Serve the Lord thy God, and him only shall we serve. When are we at our weakest? Oh, oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I thought we'd say a few words about that particular chapter. I've had that in Bible study before, but I wanted to go over some of the other things that we could bring out on that. All right, but i got to leave you alone here now. I've been on here for a little while, and uh, you weren't you were able to talk back, I understand. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is to uh, look forward to next week, the very first uh, Sunday, I believe it will be the third, second day of February. We'll come back, and that's the month of love. Oh, my goodness. Maybe we ought to have some Bible studies talking about love. Sermons talking about love. You can't preach enough sermons on love or have enough Bible studies on love because folk don't want to do it. And love takes them fuck just too deep into God. Just takes them to where they don't want to go. Hmm. All right, until next time. Oh, my, my, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Until next time, don't set what the devil has to offer. Know who you are. Praise the Lord in the temptation that will come to you by the example of Christ.